A lot of people's theology is shaped by novels, and so I wrote the book uh, Finding God in the Shack to help Christian lay people, but others, people as well, who read the book to be discerning as they read it and to be able to separate truth from error. The Shack is a book about a man who experiences a terrible tragedy in his life and encounters God who uh, brings him back to a trust in himself in spite of the terrible suffering that he's gone through. One of the things that I've read and heard about the shack is that it's heretical and that uh, some of the things it says about God, or actually in the book has God saying to the hero of the book, uh, are not biblical, not theologically correct. Uh, I didn't find that to be true overall. There are some mistakes in the book, I think, theologically, but nothing really major. In my book, Finding God in the Shack, I deal with several major themes of the book, including the Trinity and also the problem of evil, as I mentioned before, and these themes come out in my treatment of the book in both a critical way and in a way that's very sympathetic to the, to the presentation of those themes in the book itself. And uh, in each of these themes that I deal with, I try to show how the, the shack deals with that theme in a very positive way, but also there are some problems. And I, as a theologian, I have some qualms about some of the statements in the book about God. So I give both the positive and negative aspects. One of the main things that I'd like readers to take away from finding God in the shack is how God can be revealed through popular culture and a novel like The Shack, but that they need to be discerning as they view a film or read a novel. And that's what I try to do for them in Finding God in the Shack, is show that you can separate the good, that is the biblical and the theologically correct, from that which may not be. And another thing that I'd like people to take away from Finding God in the Shack is the emphasis that I find in the novel itself on the goodness of God. And I try to show in my book that this is one of the real values of the novel, that it shows God, it portrays God as unconditionally good and therefore someone that we can trust in spite of tragedy and evil in the world.